I'm back again with another video and in today's video we have a mini laptop uh, HP Pavilion X360 these ones are the Energy Star lineup which is the model is an 11-K161 in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up how to replace your battery and I'll try to find the link for the battery and I'll leave it in the video description so you guys can uh, go through and purchase your own and last, I'm going to take you step by step how to open it up and how to get to the battery. Tools that you're going to be needing, it's an opening tool, a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set, which they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. I believe mine is already out, which is right here. They have the S2 class steel bits, which are really toughened steels. That means they don't go bad, unlike the other brands, after a few months of the use. So we're going to be using Philips number zero from this tool set. And also if you get the pro version, they include you an opening tool and some tweezers and few other stuff. But if you don't want to get the pro version, get the screwdriver set and grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is perfectly fine to open uh, any electronics, which is really tough. So what you want to do first, you want to power off the laptop completely. And then you want to flip it upside down and you're going to find that yourself are seeing a whole bunch of screws. There are three, there are three in total of three hidden screws here. One is at the back middle, which has a little plastic cover on top, which one, this one already fell off. You was probably that, uh, fall off too. So if he's not, use a little bit of needle or a tweezer, sharp tweezer to remove the cover. It has an adhesive to it. So you can reach the screw right there. And the other two screw hitting are on the back by the hinges on the covers, nothing on the, on the front end here. So just lift up these covers, rubber legs, and you're going to see the screws right underneath. So start removing all the screws at the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, I want to take a moment to thank you guys for supporting my channel and giving all the good feedbacks and the support that I've been getting is really nice feeling and I realize only one percent of you guys are subscribed to my channel or clicking that like button if you find my content useful and uh, helping you guys out I would really appreciate it if you guys click that like button and think about subscribing to the channel it really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys all right once we remove all the screws at the bottom cover you want to grab yourself the opening tool and you want to open up the laptop a little bit just like that now you want to stick the let me put it in this position you want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover just like that anyway it doesn't matter where you start and you just want to twist it and you want to hear some clicks you want to lose up all those clips do the sides go all the way to the back to the other side, this other end. All you need to do is the front, the left and right side. And lift it up and wiggle it around and you're going to lose up the back end. Don't yank it out because there's a few stuff that you need to remove underneath. There are two flex cables that you need to remove. The flex cable for the keyboard and the trackpad. To remove the flex cable for the keyboard, just put your fingernail under this uh, white bar right at the back and lift it up. 90 degrees just flip it open and then slide back the flex cable for the same thing for this flex cable for the trackpad you want to put your finger this one is a black bar right here just lift up 90 degrees and pull out the uh, flex cable all right and down here we already upgraded the hard drive to an ssd drive i'm going to switch it back to mechanical one and the battery is right in front of you this battery is already inflated it's already blown so it's probably not holding too much charge to remove the battery and there's a few stuff that we need to do first to unhook it you can pull these cables back or grab put your fingernails right at the beside these hooks and then pull the jack backward just wobble around and then it will come out 
there it is once you remove that we're going to start removing the screw so remove the screw which they have white arrow beside it so remove one two three screws i believe there are three and there's a fourth one is right between the ribbon cable right there you can go ahead and remove this bridge cable same way that you remove the flex cable right there just pull it out and that's it you don't need to remove the other one if you want to go ahead remove the bridge cable and the battery is coming up loose the speaker cable goes over the battery so you have to uh, disconnect the uh, cable for the remove this tape right here in the middle pull out the speaker cable right there just untangle it now you can just remove the battery underneath uh, this is your battery the model for this one is an HV02XL model so you should look for that if you want to buy it with an HP spare part the spare part number from HP is a 79 63 55 right, let's say I don't have the new battery here with me so imagine this is the new one you want to grab it bring it the same way slide it underneath the cable Put it on top, align it, plug in the cables for the speaker, run the cable, make sure it's not pinched anywhere, just run it nicely. Put it right there. You don't have to put the tape back on, but if you want to, go ahead and put it so it stays right, right in the trail right there. Grab and put the four screws for the battery. Next step is to grab the flex cable, slide it right on the connector, lock it down. We'll open up the lock, lock it down, and plug in the battery. Just slide the connector right into the groove right there and push it all the way towards the jack. Uh, down here, the last step would be to grab the flex cables, align it on top, make sure the lock is open, bring it from the back end, slide it all the way in, and lock it down. Same thing for the trackpad bring it over all the way in and lock it down now what you want to do down here you want to just pinch the top and the bottom power really hard and you're going to hear these clicks and the last thing is to flip it upside down and just put the bottom screw down here and put the cover back on i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out and I would really appreciate if you guys click that like button. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.